All right, this video is for distance learning days five through eight for my government classes. So if you are in my US history class, you need to go and find the video for distance learning days five through eight for US history, but this is for government. All right, so all of this is on Teams under assignments. Um, you guys are gonna go and do uh, each of these tasks one at a time, all right? You can do them all at once if you want to, but you absolutely don't have to. So day five task, read the attached handout, Principles and Virtues Glossary from the Bill of Rights Institute. So the Principles and Virtues Glossary is actually at the very bottom of this handout. If you go down, you can find the glossary. Um, and you guys are basically just gonna, on day five, you're gonna read the glossary and answer some questions. And then on day six, you're gonna read it and answer some questions. Okay, so let's start with day five. Draw a visual representation of democracy and republic based on the definitions in the text. Okay, um, B. After reading the text, explain which three principles of government you believe are the most critical to the success of the American democracy. Provide reasoning and evidence to support your claims. Okay, so that's day five. Now we're gonna go to day six. Uh, day six, review the principles and virtues glossary text again. A, explain the difference between a private virtue and a civic virtue. Discuss why both types of virtues are essential in democracy. Uh, B, Determine which virtue you believe is most essential to the preservation of our American democracy and which vice you believe is most dangerous. Present your claims with supporting evidence in complete sentences and paragraph form. All right, this is day seven and eight. So you don't have to do them at the same time. All right, but it's the same activity. All right, uh, day seven and eight task. Again, reflecting on the handout, Principles and Virtues Glossary, create a visual representation, flowchart, or mind map that demonstrates the relationship between the 15 principles in government and 15 virtues attributed to effective self-government. Your representation of how these 30 ideas are connected will be unique to you, and there's no right or wrong answer. Um, where was I? Okay, there's no right or wrong answer. So um, don't be like intimidated to do this because you feel like you're gonna do it wrong. I just wanna see what you guys can produce, okay? Um, your representation may be messy and show lines connecting different ideas, that's okay. You may choose to use color symbols or words to help you make connections more clear. Don't be afraid to think outside of the box. You will continue to work on this during the following day. You may choose to create this representation by hand or use digital tools that you are familiar with. So if you wanna do day seven and eight together, you can. If you wanna do half of it on day seven and half of it on day eight, that's fine too. Um, so if you want, you can use the Word document I provided on Teams to do this activity, or you can turn it in when we get back to school, or you can do it um, by your hand and then take a picture of it and upload it to Teams. If you also need to take a picture and email it to me, then that's fine too. Okay, so just because all these activities are grouped together in one video, and I went over days five through eight in one video, does not mean that I'm not available for questions or support. So please reach out to me on email, Remind, or Teams if you have any questions.